My paints are called American Journey. I purchased them from a company called Cheap Joe. And you can find Cheap Joe online. And that's a good company to work with. I like what they do. I've worked with them for years and years. Now, one of the nice things about 300 pound paper is it doesn't buckle up. Where if you're using 140 pound paper or lighter, it will fold up. When you wet it like this, it wants to get rolly. The way you can prevent, prevent some of that is by painting on the back with water. So it sucks up both directions and tries to stay flat, okay? All right, here we go. Whoa. This beginning will be wet in wet technique where the whole paper is wet and I will put the paint on in a wet manner. So I'm gonna come here with some ultramarine blue. Oh, that's so strong. How can I knock down that blue that's so powerful? Add water. Add water. Already we're working in transparencies. Wipe it in the paper. How can I get rid of an extremely strong color? Add white. Add white. Don't use white with watercolor. The paper's white. Yeah. Color wheel? Contrast color. Oh. I heard somebody say it. <laughs> Contrast color. Contrast or complementary color. What is the complementary color of blue? Orange. Orange, there we go. We've got some live ones here today. So if I take orange and put in there, do you see how it is knocked down the blue? It's put in towards the grays. Don't use white, don't use black. You will not find black on my palette. Okay. I'm going to throw in a little bit of cerulean to take it to a different direction. A touch of raw umber. And here we go with a sky. Oops, somebody had a greasy finger and touched my paper. Must have been me. Your breakfast? It wasn't right there. And here we go with some nice... Uh, that guy that used to do the paintings on TV, the happy color. <laughs> Here we go with a little happy color. <laughs> and the way I fool around this way, I have a great time. You know what my other major subject is that I teach? Anybody have any guesses? Comedy. <laughs> My luck at counting. <laughs> I'm a motorcycle instructor. Oh, I teach you okay. how to ride motorcycles. And I've got a book over there. It's called Up on Two. And it's my latest publication, which tells you not how to ride a motorcycle, but how to get the instruction and where to take the instruction to become a motorcycle rider. What's that, that color key? that you just had? What is that I wish I knew. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's yellow, okay. new gambo. Yellow, new It's not called yellow. It's called new gambo. <laughs> G-A-M, whatever. I thought it was gold. <laughs> it is. I thought that would look good in the end of your nose. <laughs> Quick, put your masking tape on. <laughs> now, with painting wet in wet, you always need to paint a little heavier as far as, as the intensity goes because the paper being wet and being 300 pounds sucks, sucks it into the paper. So this will not be quite that <coughs> intense. Okay, now I'm letting it dry a little bit, just a little bit, because I want to put the trees that are on the other side of this cliff. So I'm going to take Wasn't that great the way that orange knocked down that powerful blue? Now that will work with every 
color that you use. If you add the opposite color, it will move towards the middle. And you can go across to the other side, or you can keep it on the side you started with, but it greatly reduces the intensity. Okay? Color has three um, measurements to it. Hue, H-U-E, value, that's the amount of light, lightness and darkness, and chroma, that's the intensity. What I knocked down here was the chroma. I reduced the chroma. The term value really just means it's the term color. The term color encompasses the whole thing, the subject of color. And when people say, well, the color is red, that's actually incorrect. The hue is red. Okay? So it's hue, value, and chroma. There will be a test on all this at the end of the class. <laughs> Okay, I have a little of cerulean blue, there it is, and if I mix cerulean blue with burnt umber, I get an absolutely marvelous gray sort of color that I love. Whoops, you're all right, come on over here, you can help me. Watch what I do right there, taking the edge of the brush. See the trees? Oh, why? Wow. Look at that, isn't that cool? Oh, man. So you get a little nervous and you make little tiny trees. <laughs> and then you want to go up here with the big ones because of a compositional thing. You want to kind of go up that way. They're spreading out because that's quite wet. I may come in and do some painting over them. I may not. Depends on how it's how it's working. I added some raw sienna, that nice reddish color, right over top of the other colors, and it, it gives me more depth. Dead a long time. He should have died earlier. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't say that. No, the, that wasn't Bob Ross. It wasn't Bob Ross. It was the other one. I can't think of his name off the top of my head. <laughs> 